Hello, grade 10 learners. Have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you on how to find the remainder when the polynomial p of x is divided by another polynomial in the form of quantity of x minus r using remainder theorem. Now let us define first what is remainder theorem. If the polynomial p of x is divided by quantity of x minus r, the remainder r is a constant and is equal to p of r. Since r is a symbol for the remainder, then r is just equal to p of r. Actually, there are two ways wherein we can find the remainder. The first one is the remainder theorem. The second one is synthetic division. And I have already discussed in my previous video about synthetic division. So now let's begin with our example on how to find the remainder using the remainder theorem. Let us consider the first example. Find the remainder using remainder theorem when the polynomial quantity of 5x squared minus 3x cubed plus 2x minus 3 is divided by quantity of x plus 2. For this example, our p of x is 5x squared minus 3x cubed plus 2x minus 3. If you have observed, the given polynomial is not yet written in standard form, but it is not necessary that you are going to write this in standard form. Just leave it as this form. And our divisor is quantity of x plus 2. So we have to solve first for x. We will copy x plus 2 and equate it with 0. So we have to solve for x now. 2 will be transposed to the right side and it became negative 2. So our x is equal to negative 2. Now we are going to write our p of x. So our p of x, just copy this one, 5 squared minus 3x cubed plus 2x minus 3. Since our x is equal to negative 2, we are going to solve for p of negative 2. Okay? Again, we get this negative 2 from this. x plus 2 is our divisor and solve for x. Now we're going to substitute the variable x by negative 2. That is why we have here p of negative 2 is equal to 5 times quantity of negative 2 squared minus 3 times quantity of negative 2 cubed plus 2 times negative 2 minus 3. Now we will simplify. So we have p of negative 2, just bring down 5, negative 2 square, that is equal to 4. Then bring down negative 3, simplify first, Quantity of negative 2 cubed, that is equal to negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 2, that is equal to negative 8. Plus 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4. Bring down negative 3. Now let's simplify further. So we have 5 times 4 is 20. Negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. Positive times negative is negative 4. And bring down minus 3. Lastly, we have to simplify further. So we have 20 plus 24 is 44. Minus 4 is 40. Minus 3 is 37. So it means that p of negative 2 is equal to 37. And this is also our remainder. Okay? 
we can solve this one by using synthetic division. Okay, by using synthetic division, we have to write first the coefficient in the dividend. So this is our dividend. But since this is not a range, so we are going to write first the coefficient of a term with the highest degree. So that's why we have here negative 3. Followed by the second degree term, we have 5. Next, we have 2. And lastly, we have negative 3. So, I'll just explain this. So, bring down negative 3. Multiply negative 3 by negative 2. So, we have 6. Then, we have to add 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 times negative 2. That is negative 22. 2 plus negative 22. That is equal to negative 20. Negative 20 times negative 2 is positive 40 negative 3 plus 40 is 37 i have already discussed synthetic division in my previous video thoroughly so you may go over about this so if you have observed we also have here 37 meaning to say that if we're going to make use of remainder theorem for this solution or synthetic division we have the same answer but this solution is not necessary. I just show this one to prove that we can also use synthetic division to get the remainder. But once you are, you will be asked to find the remainder using remainder theorem. And this is our solution using the remainder theorem. So therefore, the remainder when quantity of 5x squared minus 3x cubed plus 2x minus 3 is divided by quantity of x plus 2. The remainder is 37. Now let's have the second example. Find the remainder using remainder theorem when the polynomial quantity of 8x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5 is divided by quantity of 2x plus 1. So first, we have to solve for x. Copy 2x plus 1 and equate it with 0. Now transpose 1 to the right side, so it became negative 1. Then divide both sides of the equations by 2. So 2x divided by 2. That is equal to x and negative 1 divided by 2. That is equal to negative 1 half. Next, we have to copy our p of x. So our p of x is 8x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5. Now we are going to solve for p of negative 1 half. So we are going to substitute the variable x by negative 1 half. So just bring down 8 and x will be substituted by negative 1 half raised to the power of 3. So we have negative 4 times negative 1 half to the power of 2 plus 2 times negative 1 half plus 5. Now we'll simplify further. So we have 8 times negative 1 half to the power of 3. So it means that negative 1 half will be multiplied 3 times. So negative 1 half times negative 1 half times negative 1 half. And the answer is negative 1 8. Minus 4. Then... Negative 1 half to the power of 2, meaning negative 1 half times negative 1 half, that is equal to 1 fourth, plus 2 times negative 1 half. So we can divide common factors, so 2 divided by 2, that's already 1. So we have now 1 times negative 1, so we have here negative 1, and bring down 5. 
Now, let's simplify further. So, we have 8 times negative 1 8. So, we can also divide the common factors. We have 8 divided by 8. That's already 1. So, that's why here we have negative 1. Also here, negative 4 times 1 fourth. 4 divided by 4, this is still 1. So, negative 1 times 1, we have here negative 1. Lastly, positive times negative 1, so we have here negative 1. And bring down positive 5. And finally, we have to add. So, negative 1 minus 1 minus 1 is negative 3 plus 5 the answer is 2 so p of negative 1 half is 2 so 2 is the remainder using the remainder theorem now for this video let me show to you the synthetic division solution so you can compare also their solution on how to find the remainder now we will check by using synthetic division so we have here negative one half so for our dividend we have eight followed by negative four next we have two and lastly we have five so again we have to bring down first number here 8 then multiplied by negative 1 half the answer is negative 4 add negative 4 plus negative 4 that is equal to negative 8 negative 8 times negative 1 half the answer is 4 2 plus 4 is 6 6 times negative 1 half the answer is negative 3 5 plus negative 3 is 2 so if you have observed, we have also here a remainder of 2. But if you have observed, this is not yet our quotient. Okay, since we have here 2 in our divisor fraction, we also have to divide each term in our device, I mean quotient by 2. So finally, we have 8 divided by 2 is 4 negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4 6 divided by 2 is 3 we are not going to divide anymore the remainder only the quotient so this is our quotient and this is our remainder so if you have observed we have the same answer again this part of the solution is not necessary once you will be asked to find the remainder using remainder theorem but i just show this solution so you will be aware that either we are going to make this a remainder or synthetic division we come up with the same answer but the solution for the remainder theorem is this only this is the only solution okay so therefore the remainder when quantity 8x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5 is divided by quantity of x plus 2 is 2. 2 is the remainder. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Kindly like, and if you have questions, just write it in the comment box. Kindly share it to other students for them to learn or master the lesson. And please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. Proverbs 1 verse 7. That's all for today and God bless you all.